What's up guys, this is Holzman here from AAA Gaming and welcome to another tutorial video. Now this is a quick tutorial on how to border or outline pictures or text. And it, in my opinion just makes it look cool and it's a really helpful tip on making thumbnails and all sorts of arts and stuff. It's just really cool and after I found this out it really helped me a lot. So I'm going to start with how to border a picture. And for this I found a picture of Steve from Minecraft. Uh, because I play Minecraft a lot. So all you have to do is copy it by clicking on it with the... What's it called? The Move Selected Pixels tool. Click on it, hit Control and C, copy. And then open up some new layers on your, whatever you're putting the art on, whatever you're bordering it on. And then Control V to paste it. And then you can just fit it to the right size you want. And I think that's good. So there we go. So now in order to border it, what you first must do is copy the layer. So duplicate the layer, click this button down here, and it duplicates it. And then hit the Magic Wand tool and click on somewhere other than your drawing or whatever you want to border and then click the rectangle select hold control and right click and drag it all the way across it'll select only your picture and this inverts the selection so that it will select whatever you didn't have selected before that's really useful I want to border it in white so it show up against this black background so what you do is leaving it selected pick a big line tool or something and cover it completely up with lines or whatever color you want Make sure nothing else is showing. And then hit enter. So make sure he's no longer selected. And move this layer down. And then you hit effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. And I like to keep it at 12. It creates a nice thin border, but you can change it to however thick you want the border to be. And you can see a little faded line around there. That's how thick the border is going to be. So to make it a full fledged border, hit duplicate layers several times. I like to do it 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10. There we go. And then you can merge them down using this merge down tool. Just to make it easier to like work on other editing and stuff. And it slows down your computer after a while once you do too many borders. If you don't merge them down. So this is just a good tip. Just merge it down. So yeah. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do it with a text. It's a little bit different with a text but not much. So I'm going to create a new uh, whatever layer. And create a text. And this is going to be, I'm going to make it black, and it's going to be, hello. Now, black doesn't look too good against a black background. You can't really see it too well from a distance. I mean, this one's okay right now, but if I made the whole background plain black, you wouldn't be able to see it. So, I'm going to border it in white so that it's easier to see. So, what I'm first going to do is duplicate the layer, take a paint bucket, and whatever color you want to border it, paint it all that color. And then move the layer down, hit Gaussian Blur, as before, and it'll create this outline. Like Once again, duplicate it about 10 times. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then merge them down. And it should create a nice, easy to see border that looks like it's a perfect border, fits the shape perfectly, even on all sides. Did it a bit too far. There we go. And there we go. So in order to show how well it works, I'm going to paint this whole bottom layer black. Paint it all black. And if this text didn't have a border, you wouldn't be able to see it. But you can see it even from a, from a good distance. You can tell what it is. So yeah, that's how you make a border on an image or a text using paint.net, a free program. It's really useful. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. to nice. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, 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 hey,